Um, MIT astronomers have observed the elusive starlight surrounding some of the earliest quasars in the universe. Um, the distant signals, which trace back more than 13 billion years to the universe's infancy, are revealing clues to how the very first black holes and galaxies evolved. Uh, uh, quasars are uh, the blazing centers of active galaxies, uh, which host an insatiable supermassive black hole at their core. Uh, um, most galaxies host a central black hole that may occasionally feast on gas and stellar debris, generating a brief burst of light in the form of a glowing ring as material swirls in toward the black hole. Uh, quasars, by contrast, can consume enormous amounts of matter over much longer stretches of time, uh, generating an extremely bright and long-lasting ring so bright, in fact, that quasars are among the most luminous objects in the universe. Uh, because they are so bright, uh, quasars outshine the rest of the galaxy in which they reside. Um, but the MIT team was able, for the first time, to observe the much fainter light from stars in the host galaxies of three ancient quasars. Uh, based on this elusive stellar light, the researchers estimated the mass of each host galaxy compared to the mass of that central supermassive black hole. Um, they found that for these quasars, the black holes uh, were much more massive relative to their host galaxies compared to their modern counterparts. Um, the findings may shed light on how uh, the earliest supermassive black holes became so massive despite having a, a relatively short amount of cosmic time in which to grow. Um, in particular, those earliest monster black holes may have sprouted from more massive uh, seeds uh, than more modern black holes did. Uh, these black holes are billions of times more massive than the sun. Uh, at a time when the universe is still in its infancy, they just they, they think um, our results imply that in the early universe, supermassive black holes might have gained their mass before their host galaxies did, and the initial black hole seeds could have been more massive than today. Um, uh, might massive luminosity, as I should say, of transmitting many institutions for the story which would continue to recognize. Uh, they assumed then that the quasars uh, light stemmed from a single star-like point source. Um, scientists designated the object's quasars as uh, a portmanteau of a quasi-stellar object. Uh, since those first observations, scientists have realized that quasars are in fact not stellar in origin, but emanate from the accretion of intensely powerful and persistent supermassive black holes sitting at the center of galaxies that also host stars, which are much fainter in comparison to their dazzling core.